Hi guys, in this quick uh, uh, shadowing video I will show you how to create this brushed aluminium materials. To do this I create uh, as usual a V-Ray advanced material and with this texture here I show you in a moment here this one is the texture that I have, it's seamless and normal texture. And with these textures I recreate all the texture to create this kind of brushed aluminium material. So, first of all I applied my texture to my diffuse layer, apply to it the filter and start play with the clipping to increase a bit the contrast so I want a bit more low uh, values so the black one are pushed up and decrease a bit the eye clip so I want a more grayish material for the white map as you can see here I increase by 60% the value to bring out the, the white materials, the white part of the texture. This is our basic shader. As you can see, I deactivate for a bit my specular and my bump to show it better. I have also mixed it up, this is our base filter, by this, uh, this one by 0 0.8 with a brightness of 9% to increase a bit. Uh, the brightness of my texture again. It's my method, but it's the same to play with the set, the the lightness and the, or brightness and contrast to obtain this kind of result here. After doing this, I simply copy the the map in my BAM map and create a very low bump as you can see here and with the filter I play again with my low and high clip to create uh, a basic contrast on my on my bump to uh, um, increase the the black parts to increase the caving parts of my material now I will show you how the bump works so I decrease all the way down my texture and, and set it up here to 80% and see what it looks like. As you can see in my texture, we can also have a little bit of bump map on it. And that's it's what I want to have, because I literally increase a bit, bit the, the parts, uh, the bumping of my material. Now I will reactivate my my 
I diffuse and see what happened with bump and diffuse map. Oh, sorry, I am uh, <laughs> uh, wrong. Because I don't have, and I don't apply it to my material. Okay, so I repeat the process to see the results. Delete this too. Okay, as you can see, I have some scratches here, a very tiny one, and uh, this is what I, the effect I want because the the brush and aluminum is a very very uh, little bumpy in on it in real life. So after doing this, I apply my texture by 0 0.8, increase a bit our brightness to 90%. And I will show you how it's looked like. Okay, as you can see, this is our basic results only with bump and uh, And diffuse map it's very flat and by increasing the realism of this kind of material I want to apply a specular layer with these values I have uh, applied to it our texture with filter by playing on it with clipping uh, like usual as you can see before and also I add uh, a specular layer tra transparency of 2.5 because the basic setting of 1.6 is uh, for plastic material but for aluminium is around 2 and 2.5 and also I have increased a bit the reflectance of 0 degrees by decreasing the, the white value to a more grayish one. After doing this, I have also uh, decreased a bit our reflection glossiness because I don't want a shiny material but a more brush material. To do this, I simply re reduce my reflection glossiness. So now I want to show you how it looks like the final material in our render. So to do this, render to picture viewer and see what it looks like, our final material. As you can see, by using a reflection map on the reflection color uh, settings, I have uh, some variances on, on my shader here. As you can see, I have not a very flat uh, bright spot of light here, but I have some imperfection on it. Gives me by this texture here. And this is increased a very good increase the more uh, realism to it and create a very good uh, material so for this tutorial it's everything and see you at the next lesson bye